Have you ever had one of those days where you can't get started doing anything and you just procrastinate and procrastinate until finally you get up the activation energy to start your YouTube recording and then realize after about an hour or two that you haven't hit the record button? Yeah, I made a mistake. I normally don't do things like that because I'm constantly looking over at the recording software to make sure it's recording because I often pause it when I'm doing boring things that I don't want to spend the video processing time in order to edit. But yeah, um, unfortunately this time I didn't look over once. And so I had a really good story going, but unfortunately, none of it got recorded so i'm going to hope that the same things happen i can't guarantee that that will happen but i'm going to get all of carla's skills back up to where they were and all of the aspirations completed that we were going to complete and then hopefully if the things don't happen i'm just going to summarize them for everyone and we're going to switch over to the other save file because I did save what happened, but it was just such a coincidence that everything happened just randomly, and I don't think that it will happen again, but we'll see. So we finished a school project, and we might do another one, because I want her to try and get a B tomorrow. Come on, start your project. Quit talking. And we've reached mental skill level 10. We were working on the motor aspiration so we'll have to do that one next i also want her to join the scouts because of the two careers i think scouts can actually be completed as a child and there's two projects and we're going to join the scouts again and yeah if you guys could help me out a little bit on this one since i wasted so much time could you watch this one all the way to the end and maybe watch it twice <laughs> just kidding all right, now we have to re-earn all the badges that I earned before. And I'm not really sure which ones I got, so let's just hope that we can do the same thing again. And we're just going back and forth between the telescope and dancing. Now we'll draw some things on the activity table. It would have been nice to join this career while we were working on the other aspirations, but I completely forgot about it. And we earned a badge arts and crafts oh no kathy is passing away what happens kathy oh she's hysterical why i don't understand well all those buffs look at all those buffs yeah grim okay so you're confident why don't you come plead for kathy demand kathy be spared because unfortunately, if I lose both Kathy and Lily, then Carla will just be deleted from the game because there's no mods and no cheats. Oh no, Grim does not look happy. Are you going to spare her? Uh, I think that was a no. That was a no. Oh no. Okay. I think that we can resurrect her if we become a spellcaster, or better yet, maybe we could add her to the household as a ghost. Because if she's a ghost, she can't die. <laughs> because unfortunately, even when Carla grows up, if I have her in a household by herself and she dies, then what will happen is the game will be over and I won't be able to plead for Carla and I also won't be able to resurrect her. So I think we have to keep someone in the household with her at all times, since I'm not going to use any mods or cheats. Come on, Grim, do your business. Go ahead, get it over with. Thank you. Okay, we will strengthen Kathy's connection and then maybe we can get Lily to learn Necro Call. So I think I actually might have that book in here. I do. I have the Necro Call book. So if I can get Necro Call, then I can call Kathy and we can add her to the household as a ghost. Don't mourn for Kathy. She won't be gone for long, Carla. Oh, Lily's not high enough level. Yeah, she really hasn't been doing anything with her spell casting. 
So I guess we're going to have to work on that now. And hopefully she doesn't get hysterical because I know that she has confidence right now. But look at all these happy buffs. If she gets playful for any reason, she's definitely going to die. And Carla is hysterical as well, but she's a child, so it really doesn't matter. And we got the young scientist badge. We maxed the motor skill because we've been dancing, but I think we actually need to go across the monkey bars three times. And we also got the keeping fit badge. So we'll go across the monkey bars and then we get to play the typing game in order to try and get a high score. Although it's getting close to school time, so we may not have time for that. You only went across twice. Okay, well, we'll go back to that later. Okay, we can stop that now. Can we get a high score on the typing game in only 20 minutes? I don't know. And the answer is going to be no. So Carla's off to her first day of school, which is a milestone, and she's going to work hard. Meanwhile, we have to have Lily try and get her magic up. Missed bubble. Another standardized test. Carla is almost done when she realized she skipped a bubble near the top. All her answers are one off. She starts to tell the teacher but realizes she'll have to take it again. It's really only for the state. It doesn't affect her grade. Yeah, she's going to be lazy and turn it in. Carla finishes the last few questions correctly and decides to hope for the best. The school likes to brag about its test scores, but how much can one test matter? Unfortunately, the teacher thinks it matters a lot. Yeah, she assigns extra work for the next month to ensure that Carla catches up. Fine. Okay, now we have to pay our bills. Now, why is the paparazzi in my backyard? Go away, paparazzi. It looked like uh, during free time, Carla drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to classmates. It caused lots of giggling and disrupted the rest of the school day. Okay, so which would I rather have? The answers really don't matter. It's more of which one is the hardest one to get. Responsibility is easy. We don't want that. Manners is also kind of easy. I guess emotional control, uh, although the hardest one is conflict resolution, but I don't have an option to get positive conflict resolution. Paparazzi, leave. You're annoying. Your flashing is ruining my video. Hey, hey, no one said you could go through my house in order to leave. That is not what I meant. <laughs> Okay, Potion of the Nimble Mind. We don't need skills. Give me the Potion of Plentiful Needs, please. Oh, and now she's sad. Why do you keep going to sleep in the treehouse? Are you not assigned to the... You are assigned to this bed. Please use your bed, not the treehouse. I'm going to have to set it so that adults can't go in the treehouse. Should Carla invite over classmate Janae? Okay, I guess. And Carla got a B. Although you have no energy. And how perfect. Carla's first drawing on her first day of school is a unicorn with glasses. I'm really not going to keep all of these scouting trophies and things. It would be nice if her name was engraved on it or something. Like the school drawing has actually got her name on it. But these trophies are just things you can get from Build By at any time. And Carla completed the aspiration, even though she's very sad. Let's see if we can cheer Carla up. And we were able to cheer her up. Now, I know that's a little bit unrealistic, but come on, look at all these happy buffs she had. And for some reason, the death buff was still overriding all of her happy buffs. So they did kind of fix that. Let's try and give some gifts to Lily because that's another one of the badges we need to do. Here's a drawing I did for you, Mom. This also raises her empathy. And we earned our scouting badge. Now let's see if we can get focused for our homework. And Carla even came in and did her homework without me even asking her to. Now for the extra credit. Oh, wait, crap. <laughs> I, I forgot to change her aspiration. Well, I'm only going to get credit for one homework this time. 
Oh, that's okay. I only need credit for one. Okay. I was about to say, I'm going to be a little bit upset if I forgot to change the aspiration and I don't get my whiz kid finished today. All right. Now she needs an A in school and three emotion potions. Notice Lily is very playful, which is very dangerous. I already have morning sim and night owl. But what other reward store traits do I want? There are some of them that I can't get until I finish other aspirations or other things. So maybe the unimportant ones will get them first, like speed cleaner. Observant is nice and always welcome. And I'll go ahead and get free services. I mean, these don't really matter, but that's why I'm getting them now because I just don't have to worry about them. I think we'll just do the creative genius one next and play pretend in a treehouse. Also, we have no more sleep potions, so we basically need to sleep tonight. Oh, Daisy Baron has passed away. The Space Explorer is actually one of my favorite animations just because I love astronauts, I love space, and I love sci-fi. And she gets this little control panel out and she pretends she's piloting a spaceship. All right, now we got to stargaze. Luckily for us, it's nighttime. And we can do this in the rain, it doesn't matter. Question is, stargaze for how long? All right, that wasn't very bad. Uh, we can't sleep in a treehouse for six hours, but what I might do is make sure she goes to school very tired and you can sleep when you get home. No, you're not going to grab a piece of cake. Get some mac and cheese, please. Oh, potion of plentiful needs. Yay. Now I just need duplicado because I don't want to drink that. Unless I have some apples. I do have some apples. All right. How can we become confident? Take a mud bath, psych self up with the mirror, and brush your teeth. Lily has tons of satisfaction points, but I don't want to get any more sleep potions because I need her to be tired for tomorrow. All right, we have nine potions of plentiful needs. I think that will be fine. No, don't go to sleep in the treehouse. Oh, she's actually really tired. Whoops. Okay, she became confident and she achieved level 3 motor skill. Now she needs to learn how to ride a bike. I don't think she can do that in an hour. So we're going to go get a quick nap. Okay, I want her energy bar to be barely green, but I don't want it to be so low that she falls asleep during school. Okay, let's see if Lily can study this magical tome now. And she can, but I really don't want to do necro call yet. Okay, the time is now Tuesday at 10.53 a.m. There was a little bit of a jump in time there, but Lily had learned the Necro Call spell, and I still did not receive the call that I received last time. So last time when I played this through, Kathy did die of hysteria, and I pled with the Grim Reaper, and she did not get saved. So I decided to add her to the household as a ghost. But before Lily got the Necrocall spell and was able to call Kathy back to the household, we actually got a call that Ghidri had a ring in his bag and Kathy thought that Ghidri was going to propose and should she say yes? And she did say yes. So if you look on her relationship panel, she actually is engaged to Ghidri, and that's what I wanted to happen all along. And this just happened to happen on the one time I was not recording. So we're going to go back to this save file. Now, the milestones and the things that Carla has completed might be slightly different than what I have done before. I tried to do the same things again, but I think we have a little bit more logic skill and maybe the badges are different. So I still need civic responsibility. I still need outdoor activities. I still need keep fit and good deeds. All of the other ones are done. And for milestones, we actually lost our first tooth, but that didn't happen in this particular game. 
And I think I accidentally sold her first drawing from her first day of school. So we do not have that, which doesn't really matter that much. We just need a grade of A for the mental aspiration. We did complete the motor aspiration. Multi-skill, I think we got, except for sleep in a tree house, we got the creative genius. Although I don't think that she's really tired. No, she's not. I did not do that last time. So she will still need to get really tired in order to sleep in a tree house. And we did not become confident for mind and body. So that's where we are. If we do a little bit of a repeat, then that's why is because I jumped over to this save file, which is the one that I prefer the way that it happened, where Kathy is engaged to Ghidri and I am waiting to try and find Ghidri so that they can elope. If I try and plan a wedding event, because I thought, well, maybe I can get him to come over if we plan a wedding. Well, if you are a ghost and you're engaged and you go to plan wedding event, keep in mind this is with no mods and no cheats. This is what you get. Because of course, you're not supposed to be engaged to Ghidri. So and you're probably not supposed to do weddings as a ghost. So you can't plan any sort of wedding event. Oh, and Carla got an A. Uh. Why, hello, Julie. What are you doing here? And we've completed the mental aspiration for WizKid. She might be able to become confident now. Kathy, why are you in the bathtub? Oh, well, fine. I don't think I actually need to take a mud bath. Okay, now we need to learn how to ride a bike. But, Kathy, we need to find Ghidri. And you know what I think? I think one way that we could find him is to send everyone back to the haunted house. It will only be for a little while, I promise. Yeah, in this version, I didn't spend my satisfaction points because I completely forgot. I actually don't want to get all those little ones yet. I want to get Savant because that will make me learn skills faster. Okay, now with my 500 points, I can go get maybe hmm, speed cleaner. Since we need some fun anyway, we'll practice riding our bike. That's a pretty nice light on there. And there's Ghidri. Why, hello Ghidri. Let's just get married because unfortunately we can't plan a wedding event with a ghost. Dear Ghidri, I loved you so much that I followed you to the grave in order to get your attention so that you'd propose to me. And now we can be together in the afterlife. Caleb, you were not invited. Oh no. The fire ghosts are not going to interrupt this ceremony. Oh, they're having their first kiss. No, I don't think so. Okay, and Ghidri is now living with us. So Ghidri is just like any other special character like Bone Hilda or the Grim Reaper. If you have them join your household, they cannot claim a bed. And even though they have an energy need, they will never sleep. So the only solution is to actually buy them a coffin or a sleeping pod because they have the old claim method. And as you can see, this bed is claimed by Ghidri. Otherwise, he would only nap, and that's no good. Okay, do we need to still sleep in a tree house? I believe so. Yeah, sleep in a tree house for six hours. This should be easy. Since Ghidri's not tired, I'm just going to have him have educational dreams. And that didn't last very long. Oh, it's Winterfest, and I actually almost took today off from school, so I'm glad I didn't, because I get a free day off. Okay, Ghidri and Kathy are close. And we completed the creative genius aspiration. And everyone comes and opens presents. I don't like keeping the presents around, though, because they always get pranked, especially when you have a bunch of playful people around. Ooh, raises conflict resolution and lowers responsibility. Not smart enough. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Focus on different topics. And we earned the civic responsibility badge. That means we can stop cleaning up. Someone else clean up.
And I can put my magic trash cans back now that I don't need these real trash cans anymore. Are you two woohooing in the telescope? All right, seat yourself. Why? Okay, why is she practicing riding her bike inside? I don't think you can do that, Carla. Or maybe you can. I want to get the scouts badges as quickly as possible because I don't want her to have to go to scouts every Saturday. And now we have the Keep Fit badge. Oh, Good Deeds is take out the trash. Why? I didn't see that I was getting any credit for that, though. Would you quit riding your bike? I'm going to have to take that bike away from you. I told you to do something, Carla. Go do it. Okay, I need to take out the trash one more time. Okay, now I can collect that badge. And the only one left is the Outdoor Activities badge. I mean, I guess we could go to Granite Falls. I'm sending everybody to bed because if Carla's tired, then everyone else needs to go to sleep too so I can fast forward time. For some reason, Ghidri seems not to get tired as quickly as everyone else. It's super annoying because then I can't fast forward things. Oh, Father Winter is here. That's why I can't fast forward. Okay, I think Ghidri just introduced himself to Father Winter with a flirty introduction or an, en or an enchanting introduction. Let's just ask to be friends. You are married, Ghidri. Why do you do this? Oh, and now Father Winter absolutely hates him. <laughs> wow, that escalated quickly because of the tiny home. Why is it still storming? Okay, it's supposed to be clear skies now. So we'll ask for help riding the bike. Learning to ride a bike in The Sims, not really the most entertaining thing. I mean, they could have made some cute interactions, but it looks like the adult is just kind of cheering her on, not really helping in the way that most adults help, which is to hold on to the bike and let the kid get going fast enough and then let go and let them fall over. I actually got a balance bike for my son at two years old, and by the time he was four, he was riding a pedal bike with no help and no training wheels, and I didn't have to teach him. Now the paparazzi is watching us. Okay, Carla cannot practice again. All right. So I guess that means that she has to wait a little while. That's annoying. All right, let's get a splash pad. And since she's playful, she can already stomp playfully. And we need to become friends with three other children. We already have three friends. Okay, I'm just actually going to start a gathering for the Eternals, and we will see if we can take over this club. Okay, I'm just going to try it. I don't think it'll work, though. Oh, we do have Rally the Troops, though. Okay, I don't have the option to try to take over. I'm not sure if I can do that as a child. Pretty sure Julie is the leader. Oh, no, Scarlet's the leader. Whoops. Where is Scarlet? There you are. I do have some friendship with the other club members, but this probably won't work. Okay, it works. That means I'm kicking everybody out and making a kids club. Okay, everybody go home. I'm also kicking you out of the club. Just to be safe, we'll invite three people that I don't know yet. Oh, and that just counted because I guess I instantly became friends with them. Okay, actually, I didn't. Maybe it counted my other friends. Oh, well, who cares? Now I need to ride a bike for four hours. Oh, great. <laughs> I can't ride my bike right now, can I? Oh, I can. Okay. Okay, I want to take a vacation day from school. I completely forgot to do this. Now, if I take a vacation day, it's probably not going to make it for today. It's probably going to be tomorrow. Oh, well, I either go to school or I get a bad grade. I guess I'm going to go to school. Forget it. Have to remember tomorrow. Take a vacation. Don't go to school. You you already have an A. You don't need anything else. Yeah, so Ghidra got fried. I'm pretty sure that he can't die again, but I'm just going to have someone else do it. Oh no, you are not hysterical, Lily. 
well, apparently we can fight Ghidri because we have a fear of ghosts. So we're going to fight some ghosts. And Lily wins. And now she's confident. Although now Ghidri doesn't like her anymore. No, Ghidri, you're not going to bed. So we'll work on riding our bike. We need to ride for at least four hours and hopefully learn how to ride the bike. Although maybe we can't count it as riding a bike until after we ride around. Okay, practicing counts. After this finishes, we might have to go to the magic realm and see if we can get a death flower. And she completed her aspiration. I did not get a sound effect for that, I guess because I was focused on a different sim. So she has playtime captain. Now if she can just learn how to ride this bike. And she did learn how, no, 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 wait. Okay, no, she did ha learn how to ride the bike. Okay, and she's riding all over town now. Why are you doing that? Now she needs to go 12 hours without a negative need moodlet. Well, before I visit the Magic Realm, I might as well watch the season premiere. Okay, now that everybody's done with that, let's go visit the Magic Realm. And we'll transport over. I'm just taking Lily because I only need her. And I hope the other shops open up. Come on. Of course, the one shop that I need, the potion ingredients one, will not open. Sometimes the specters don't do their job. Come on, I see you in here. You're in here, but you're not doing anything. Why? Why is he stuck there? Oh, look, we have a new vendor. That has nothing to do with me cheating and getting this guy out of there who was stuck. This is the only way that you can easily get a death flower. Hopefully she has one. No. Great. Oh, look, this game has been going so long. We actually have different sages. I might as well get some spells and potions. All right. Now we just need one more practical magic spell and five more potions and Lily will know them all. She has de-deathify. So what I was thinking about doing is de-deathifying Kathy and Ghidri because they're getting on my nerves and moving them out into another household and then just playing with Lily and Carla. What do you think? Tell me in the comments, should I let these two have their happy ending? And then the only problem is that Lily is the only adult. So if she dies, then Carla would be deleted basically because children who are in a household by themselves are deleted by the game. So in order to solve that problem, I'm looking for a death flower because if I give Carla a bunch of death flowers and the Grim Reaper shows up to take Lily for whatever reason, we can just give him a death flower and have a 100% chance of raising Lily from the dead. That is until Carla gets to be a teenager. And then I won't have to worry about it so much because then Carla can just summon Lily's ghost if she happens to die and add her to the household. But that will not work if she's still a child. Okay, we just need to go 12 hours without a negative need moodlet. So we need to make sure that she doesn't need to pee, she's not hungry, and she's not tired. And all we need is the Outdoor Adventurer badge. Well, maybe I can stock the pond over here and make a little pond so I don't have to go anywhere for that. I'm also going to buy a mini sheep. Maybe the black one since that's the most expensive. I'm not sure if there's any other wool that might win the competition because there is a competition tomorrow for the Finchwick Fair and it is the wool or llama competition and I'm definitely not getting a llama. But we might submit some wool and maybe bribe the judge. I wish there was a rainbow mini sheep. I think there might be rainbow wool, but I'm not sure how to get it. Maybe feeding a rainbow treat to a llama. Aw, cute little sheep. You're almost as big as Carla. Okay, she actually can't shear the mini sheep, so guess I can't do that really. I guess you have to be an adult to shear for wool. Well, Carla can still use it to enter the contest, so we'll see how that goes. And she completed her aspiration. Because she was asleep, actually. 
All right. Well, I don't have to worry about her getting a negative moodle anymore. Let's go get the outdoor badge and go fishing. And look for frogs. Yeah, looking for frogs counts. That's easier because it's only a small interaction and is quickly over. Well, it counted the first time. Now it seems like it's not counting. All right, back to fishing. Oh, how cute. My little mini sheep is keeping me company. Okay, it seems as she fishes for a little bit, stops fishing, and then looks for a frog, she gets progress towards a badge. And it's just kind of random. I don't know why. Yeah, fish until she catches something or at least does one reel in and then look for a frog. It's just so weird. And she earned her scout badge. Okay, now she's a scout level five. And she reached the top of an after school activity. She learned to ride a bike. And now I think she has the scouting aptitude trait. Yes, so she can quit that career because she honestly doesn't need it anymore. And I don't want her to have to go to scouts tomorrow. All right, I can't quit an activity. I forgot. Children are bugged like this. They can't quit an activity. They can only join the other one, which kind of quits the one that they're in. But then she'll have to go after school every day. So, what should we do here? I suppose we will join the other school activity and maybe switch back and forth so that she doesn't have to go. Writing in a journal increases emotional control. So, we're a little bit low in that area. So, I guess we could have a slumber party before the Finchwick Fair starts. And we immediately got the next level for that one. So we need to tell three stories from a sleeping bag, exchange a friendship bracelet. And if we can do that during the party, we also need to achieve gold in a slumber party. Okay, so we can knock this all out in one go. We just need to make a friendship bracelet. Well, I'm not sure where they're going to put the sleeping bags. You know, if I was playing the 100 Baby Challenge, I would be kind of annoyed. Look at all the cakes that were in the refrigerator, and there's at least one piece missing from each one. Do they eat one and then go to the next? No, they ruin every single one, unless you put birthday candles on it. So in order to exchange a friendship bracelet, you actually have to have another sim that has a friendship bracelet. So I'm going to have Lily make one. And she can't use the arts and crafts table, but she can use this little kit. Carla, did you already finish yours? Wow, that was quick. So we're going to exchange our friendship bracelets with Lily. And now we just need to tell three stories from a sleeping bag. That's going to be a lot. Okay, a fairy tale about a dragon or something like that. Oh, a great sloth invasion. That's kind of interesting. And everybody's eating cake. Good. Get rid of all that cake. Okay, a walking castle. The story options actually change as you go through them, so you won't always get the same ones. All right, now we just need gold, which means let's go to sleep. And there's our gold. Now we can just tell everyone to go home, but I might not do that yet. I need to pick a fight with someone and make an enemy, which sounds kind of mean for doing it as a child, but I think we're going to do it anyway. And now it's New Year's Eve, and we're going to make a resolution of raising a skill. Now, because Eric is one of the only people awake, we're going to pick on him. Plus, I feel like she shouldn't make an enemy out of one of her sisters. Although this is going to drastically affect her character values, which is kind of a disappointing thing. Oh no, he's a good sim. Okay, we got into our first fight. As a child, you can only fight other children, which makes sense. There is no picking on little people. And oh, she lost. Oh, she also lost another tooth. And Eric is our enemy. So that's another milestone. Okay, we can stop the slumber party because it keeps trying to make her sleep. And she got gold on the slumber party for her last aspiration as a child. 
and she got max charisma for that one party. She had charisma level one, and she went from level one to level 10 just by having that one party. I think it's because of all of the buffs that she has for Savant, Night Owl, and she actually had a Celebucerum active at the time because she was tired and I didn't want her to sleep. So yeah, we don't have to do anything with Charisma now. Let's see, the Finchwick Fair is from 3.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. So we'll write in our journal really quick, and then we're probably going to go over there because I like to be there when it first opens. It seems like I get a better chance of winning if I enter the fair right as it opens. Okay, the Vinchwick Fair has started, but I wanted to clean the sheep before I left. I didn't realize that the sheep was dirty. Hurry up, Lily. I need to go. All right, we submitted our black wool for the competition, and now we're getting to know the mayor. Eric, why are you here? You're in my way. Okay, I don't see any option to bribe the mayor, so I think maybe that is not an option for children. Okay, why is Lily calling me? We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. She's in my household. Um, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, well, maybe we should let Lily try for a baby because if she gets pregnant, then she will be basically immortal. Fine, go ahead. We'll have a little sister. Building relationships is slow, slow without a tiny home. Oh, she didn't like my Finchwick favor of a half-eaten cake. Oops. Actually, I shouldn't have given that away. That was my only food. Oh, well. I don't think that children can order from the bar. I want to be able to grab chips. Nope, of course not. Oh, there's a refrigerator in here. I completely forgot. Now, unfortunately, Carla has to stay a child until we get a childhood phase. I don't think that she's done that yet. And I don't think that there's anything I can really do to trigger it. So we will just continue to work on the different things that she can do as a child. There's some milestones that she can get that are actually more like adult milestones. Like, I don't know how you can find the Forgotten Grotto because I can't get Handiness Level 10. I guess I could have a parent do that and then take me with them. Now, if I introduce myself to all these people and get to be friends with them, we'll actually get manners and reputation. It's almost time for the New Year's Eve countdown. I guess I'm going to have to watch it in here. The Finchwick Fair winner has still not been announced, though. Although it is well over. Well, we'll see if we get the Finchwick Fair winner, but I might have to reveal that next time. So this is the end of another week, and Carl is just going to watch the countdown. This is Charity. Thanks for watching. If you watch to the end, make sure you vote for the series in the next poll because that determines how many episodes I do per season. And I only get to do a season about once every two months. Now the Super Sim has about five more episodes left, so we still have a lot to go here. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year! Okay, the fair is gone. I didn't see whether or not I won. They stole my wool and they didn't give me any sort of prize. I wanted at least a participation ribbon. Come on. It might have glitched out because I kept talking to the mayor and she couldn't judge any of the competition entries.